who is providing that uh, uh, that assistance is Corey Hughes, a social activist. Uh, he joins me via FaceTime from Dallas. Corey, to have you uh, on the show. Uh, you uh, and others uh, travel all across uh, the Gulf Coast region providing assistance. Uh, uh, talk about what that was like and, uh, of course, the people who were saying Black Lives Matter, nowhere to be found, you were quite visible. Yeah, Rowan, well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. And I think uh, that lead question was one of the narratives that we wanted to change. Uh, so often when things happen in this country, uh, instead of people seeing the Black Lives Matter movement as a positive movement, they look for the negative. And so what we want to do is make sure that we change the narrative. Uh, generally, when hurricanes or catastrophe, uh, catastrophes take place in this country, you generally, uh, the mass media shows black men looting, they show black women begging, and of course they show uh, the white man coming and being the hero. Mm -hmm. And so what we didn't want to do is we didn't want to wait for FEMA, we didn't want to wait for the government or the Red Cross. We wanted to take it in our hands and go out and make sure that our people that usually get looked over, our people that are generally disenfranchised, our people that are generally categorized as beggars, uh, that they get uh, the assistance that they need. And so myself, along with uh, a couple of other people, we collaborated and we made a decision that we wasn't going to wait, but we would actually get put boots on the ground and uh, be a blessing. And the, uh, the response was amazing. Uh, the emotion uh, was overwhelming and the need uh, was uh, extreme. And you didn't just go to Houston, you also went to the uh, Golden Triangle region. Absolutely. We went to Beaumont, Texas, Port Arthur, Texas. Uh, we were in Orange, Texas. And, uh, of course, uh, the media uh, really focused on Houston, Texas. But we wanted to go to a couple of areas that uh, people weren't talking about, like small towns like Nome, Texas, that uh, some of the houses were under uh, as, as much as five feet of water. And so we went to the places that uh, the Red Cross wasn't showing up to. We went to the places that maybe wasn't on the radar for FEMA or uh, some of the uh, you know superstars that were looking for media attention. So uh, we went to the complete Golden Triangle. We blessed people that uh, Roland that hadn't had water, uh, run water in four or five days. Uh, they hadn't had a meal in three days. Yeah. Babies that hadn't had their diaper changed in, in three days. And so uh, some of the devastation down in that area is extreme and the need uh, it, it's still uh, major as well. And uh, we talked about the need down there, and now you also put Florida on top. Are you, uh, have you already heard from people who want to also provide assistance to folks in the southeast? Absolutely, absolutely. I think once people saw that we were a credible uh, organization, uh, we're credible uh, as far as getting supplies into the people's hands, the outcry has been uh, major uh, from all over the country. I tell you one place, Roland, that I think that is just now starting to get attention is the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, that was completely devastated. So we've heard from a lot of people there that talk about they don't have power, they don't have food. Some of the roads are impassable. And so not only are we going to go to Florida, but we're probably also going to try to put some supplies and boots on the ground in the Virgin Islands as well. All right, then. Uh, Corey Hughes, we certainly appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hey, man, I appreciate you. All right, folks, we also want to remind you there's a, a huge